So uh, video number two or number one, whichever way around you watch these you know videos in order, um, is to start your beacon. Um, so depending on whether or not it doesn't really matter which way around you do it, if you watch this video first or the other one, um, you need to enable your beacon. And the best way to do it, uh, you can see my finger, is to go to the maps button, that one there. So you have your map. And once you've got your map on there, you need to go down to the little plus in the bottom right hand corner and when you press that it will give you five options the very bottom option that one there says buddy beacon use the buddy beacon uh, to see and share your location so if you hit on that one it will give you another five options um, uh, you can send your beacon now which just transmits your location once or you can have Beacon repeat. Now, beacon repeat is probably the best one because it will continuously update your location. Well, I might use a little bit more battery. And as we can see, um, you get, you've got an option for settings. How often uh, should the, the tracker report? On the right hand side, there's a little tiny drop down arrow. If you touch that little tiny drop down arrow um, or the actual number itself, it will, you know, you can update it in a, in a number of different times. Um, I've set mine to 30 seconds. Again, it will probably use a little bit more battery. Um, but that will be a bit more, you know, a bit more up to date. Uh, and we've bleached out a little bit, but in, in the corner, there is a um, an OK button just there. There we go. And then once you hit OK, you are now officially transmitting your beacon so then we can go back in uh, back into beacon uh, and then you can add your um, the people you want to track by having their email account and their four digit pin as you'll see on the other video thank you